Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of my breastplate tutorial. Today I want to teach you how to create a flexible color and show you how I did the attachments of the breastplate. If you haven't watched the first part yet, please take a look at the link above. As always, you will find all the materials in the description box down below. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Now, let's get started. You can use different techniques to attach your breastplate. One of my favorite methods is the attachment with magnets. You can connect your armor pieces really fast and also detach them if you need to without much effort. I bought these purse magnets on eBay which can be sewn onto your fabric. I use my favorite epoxy glue for this step, which is a two component powder glue. Please wear hand gloves and a protection mask during this step. Follow the instructions and mix the powder and the glue carefully. Add the magnets onto the back of your breastplate. I use the plastic stick to push the magnet into the glue and secure everything. This way I added three magnets in total, one in the middle and two at each side. I also glued two of those long o-rings onto the bottom part as well. We need those to attach the bottom part of the breastplate later. This way it's not one solid stiff piece and we are able to sit down and bend our upper body while wearing it. Now it's time to attach the second half of our magnets to our ready-made dress. I basically use a sickle thread and sew them onto the right spots. You should definitely mark those areas before you start sewing. Let's continue this tutorial with the bottom part of our breastplate. As you can see I wanted to separate the bottom breastplate into three pieces at first. But that wasn't a good idea to be honest, because the long twirl always turned around and didn't stay at my desired position. Therefore I would highly recommend to create this part as one solid piece. We have to drill two tiny holes into the piece with a pointy dremel tip. Now we need those tiny o-rings which you can buy at local art shops, Amazon or eBay. I used two needle nose pliers to hook a o-ring into the piece. This may took some time to get in at first. Now I will attach both parts of the breastplate and close the o-rings. The ends of the ring should overlap each other so they do not open accidentally while you are wearing it. Let's continue with the upper part of this breastplate. I transferred the front of the collar on a double layered piece of warbler and cut it out with a pair of nail scissors. Put it onto your mannequin when it's still warm and flexible. You can also shape it right onto your skin, but be careful you can burn yourself. Afterwards I like to transfer the pattern to 5mm thick high density foam. You can cut the basic shape with a sharp cutter knife afterwards. Always start at the outer edge and do one movement to get a sharp edge. Now it's time to pre-shape the color. Therefore I'm using my heat gun with a solid movement. Add a thin layer of glue onto your warbler base and your foam piece. Let the glue set for 3 to 10 minutes and press both parts onto each other. I like to secure everything with some hair clips and let it dry completely. Now it's time to use my Dremel with a fine sandpaper tip to smooth the edges. You should wear safety glasses and a protection mask during the step because the fine dust is not healthy. Move the Dremel up and down without pressure to get a smooth result. You can heat seal your piece one last time before we are adding the details. This way we do not need that many layers of primer and glue for the next steps. Transfer all tiles onto 2mm thick craft foam and cut them out with a cutter knife and a ruler. Make sure to add numbers to all parts, otherwise it's really difficult to match the right spots afterwards. It's not that easy to create round corners with a cutting knife, so you can also use nail clippers for this step, because they already have a curved shape. Add a thin layer of glue to both parts of your collar and wait till it feels dry. Press the foam details onto your basic piece with some pressure. Your basic piece should now look like this. Now it's time to add a thin layer of Plasti Dip, which is basically a spray primer for flexible foam parts. I added four layers in total and let it dry overnight. We are now gonna do the paint job. I'm using PBO Silver Wax again, which I have already showed you in part one of this video tutorial. The color is almost done, but we still need the attachments. Therefore I'm using those big metal hooks and simply sew them onto the back of my collar with a thicker thread. Now we can close and open our color really fast and easy. Just the gemstone is missing now, so let's add some glue onto the collar and the back of my pre-made stone. 
Afterwards I just want to give this a nice transition, so I fill the little gap with some quick seal silicone. Wait until it has dried and add some paint. I also add one hook at the top part of my breastplate. This is a connection point between the collar and the main breastplate. You will need one of those U-shaped bobby pins for the collar attachment. I simply shortened it with a side cutter and glued it onto the back of my collar. Now let's take a closer look onto our attachments. The breastplate is separated into three parts. This way it's a lot easier and more comfortable to wear. We are done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a look at my Patreon page if you want to support videos like this one. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.